So let's try out some searches using Enterprise. Let's say that I was interested in the Lake District. If I click in the search bar and type in Lake District, and then click search. So Enterprise has collected all of the item records with the words Lake and District in the description and has presented them in a list here. So I can already see from the top that there are 264 results across 22 pages. So let's uh, open some of these records and have a look. So if I open Traffic in the Lake District, opened up the record and I have the full details that, here. So again, title, publishing information, dates, physical extent, this is a book and that means 11 pages. And I have the call number and it tells me that this is on the shelf in the open access rooms, meaning that I don't have to pre-request it with a member of staff. So let's have a look at some of the other records that are on here. Let's open Conserving Lakeland, the magazine of the Friends of the Lake District. This is slightly different to what we looked at before. Um, this is a journal, uh, a record for uh, a journal. Uh, title here, Conserving Lakeland. And usually for journals that we have in the collection, under Holdings it will tell you the issue numbers and the dates. So we don't necessarily have a comprehensive collection of all journals, and this will tell you here which issues that we have in our collections. And actually, before you go into those records, you can see title, dates, and the format is listed here. Journal, journal, book, journal, journal. So, I've already seen here that there are definitely books and journals on this topic. But what about other materials, such as files, documents, and photographs? Now I could, if I wanted to do a thorough search, click through all of these pages and look down all of the results. But, if I just wanted to look at archive material, I am able to limit the results that I see here. So on the left-hand side of the screen, under Limit These Results, there are a list of formats as part of the uh, results for the Lake District. And you can click on any one of these and isolate the results just to that format. So I'm not interested in books, objects, or journals. I'm interested in archive material. So if you click on archive, it will then narrow down the results for the Lake District just to archive items. And you can see here that the results have gone down to 200 and there are only 17 pages of results. So let's open up one of these results. Let's open this top result here. So I can see that this uh, is a photograph. The title here gives me a bit of a description, Castle Grazing Among Bracken in the Lake District. The creator gives me the name of the photographer and I get a date here. You can also see in description the type. So this is a photographic print as opposed to a negative or a slide. I get the unique reference number here and advice contact mail to view this archive. So this will be closed access. I can also click on the image here and open it up and see a larger thumbnail. Now this isn't always available as an option. It's only available when we have digitized the images. So other photographic records might not have been digitized and you wouldn't get a thumbnail view there. So let's go forward a few pages and see what other material we've got. Let's click on page four. So this is a little bit different. So these aren't photographs. These are files of individual papers. So description here, folder relating to Lake District afforestation. If I open that up, I've got the publication date of 1936. So if I was interested in Lake District afforestation from the year 1936, this would probably be relevant for my research. One other thing to point out as part of this search is the need for alternative names or spellings. Now that search for Lake District has produced a fair few results and I could be quite satisfied with that. 
but I know that the Lake District has also been known by other names such as Cumberland and Westmoreland, the former county names, and material created during those periods may be listed or described under those terms instead of Lake District. So I could enter a search for Cumberland and Westmoreland and find more results that way. So it's always worth trying alternative spellings and other names that you might be aware of.